And we're going to give out some presents this year as we have a, uh, we, we've got the next couple of weeks, this weekend's going to decide some seedings or close to it. Divisions could yeah. be clinched. You give me the team and I'll tell you the gift. You give me the player and I'll tell you the gift. So I'm told this is an elf hat. Yeah. I can't tell if I'm a genie or a jester. <laughs> uh, you know, we got we to gotta work on the props because you're going to be wearing a hat on Monday, Miami Dolphins hat backwards. Yeah. Hopefully we can get that in order. Here we go. What gift does Russell Wilson, your boy, your great friend Russell Wilson, get for the holiday season? I would give him a new head coach. <laughs> um, first of all, let's be honest here. They have the lowest graded receiving group in the NFL, according to PFF, and they don't have bad receivers. So you can't get rid of Russell Wilson at this point. The contract's got three more huge years, four more actually. Um, they have the worst scoring offense in the NFL, so you can't fire the quarterback. The receivers are more than capable enough. They got to fix the O line and get a new, veteran proven offensive head coach. All right, let's go to Lamar Jackson, who, by the way, was just ruled out for this weekend's game. What is he getting for the holiday season? An actual agent? <laughs> he turned down $250 million. <laughs> He wants a fully guaranteed contract, which is what Deshaun Watson got. And he has won 74% of his game, so I love him. But it's just felt, doesn't it feel like with Lamar, the communication's bad? You and I during the break are like, is he hurt? Is he mad? Is he upset? Receivers are hurt or they're leaving. It just, uh, the, the reason you get an agent, so they take you out of the contentious discussions and relationships feels like Lamar's too embedded in the contract thing. Yeah, Got to get a great agent. Uh, what gift does Justin Herbert, I think I could guess, for the holiday season? A brilliant offensive head coach. First player in league history with 4,000 <laughs> passing yards in, good. in each of the first three seasons. Nobody's done this, and yet he's 500. And the defensive coach hasn't solved their defensive issues. So despite having Keenan Allen and Mike Williams and Austin Eckler and, 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 and a top center, Herbert's throwing huge numbers up, and he's 500. you got to get somebody on the right side of the ball. A genius. A genius like Albert Einstein. Yeah. Uh, next up, Aaron Rodgers get for the holiday season. I hope you're not trying to wrap up any ayahuasca. We don't do drugs on Christmas. That's good to know. How about a SpaceX flight? <laughs> Go on a journey, man. <laughs> he loves journeys during the off season. It's not the destination. It's the journey. That's right. Yeah. And he is a journey guy. <laughs> and so I want to get him off ayahuasca and mind-altering drugs. And I just want to put him in space. And maybe when he's up in space, he'll appreciate Earth more. Mm. And us mortal Earthlings, <laughs> of which he has elevated above on some occasions. Obviously. All right. Uh, what do you get an 80-year-old billionaire? What are we going to give Jerry Jones for the holiday season? I thought about this one. An emotional support animal Oh. after they lose in the first rounds of the playoffs. Armadillo. I don't He's from Arkansas. An emotional because armadillo. Because you know they could have to face high-scoring Minnesota, who they crushed, revenge. Or they could face high-scoring Detroit or high-scoring Philadelphia. There's Or the very physical 49ers. Those first-round home games or road games, by the way, Dallas on the road couldn't Malcolm, win at Lambeau. Yeah. Jerry, right, this is Jerry's getting to be up there. He needs, he needs if they lose... Gonna, and he loves McCarthy so far, so he's going to have to make a tough yeah. decision if they lose a playoff game. All right, let's get to Cliff Kingsbury. What does the Arizona Cardinals head coach get for the holiday season? A LinkedIn account. Oh, that's that's a low blow. Oh. <laughs> Possibly former. Ooh, that's Listen, cold. Okay, I'm not anti-Cliff Kingsbury, and I think he has a lot to deal with. But in the last 20 games, do you know he's 5-15? and 15? And he's been really bad in November and December. Sort of the anti-Andy Reid. So it's one of these things that was talked about in college that his teams tended to get worse late. I'm not sure why. In the NFL, it's a bad trend. Yeah. His teams get worse after Thanksgiving. So LinkedIn account. That's really cold-blooded. Um, what gift does Dan Campbell of the Detroit Lions get for the holiday season? Dan Campbell. You know, he talked about. Wasn't he the biting kneecaps oh, guy? Yeah, wait, let's wait. get him. Let's get him a dog cone, so he he's protected. He won't eat anybody's kneecaps. Oh. 
We we love we love him, but he gets he gets rambunctious, and we don't want him biting kneecaps. Fair. Because this the last thing we want is Dan Campbell getting in trouble. We got to have him on the sideline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. I think we saved the best possibly for last. What gift does Tom Brady get for the holiday season? Be careful here. Now, Tom is going to be 46 next year. Future colleague of ours here at the network. How about a Costco membership? <laughs> Old people love Costco. Oh, they get those inexpensive lunches. On, dude. He can buy in bulk. Uh, you go to uh, you ever go to Costco? You get little free little bites all over the place. A yeah. Little sausage bites. I go to Co- it's my favorite store. Oh my god! Basically on the planet. You can eat for free going down the aisles, and Tom's going to want to buy in bulk. You know, he's got to save his pennies now. Yeah. When we're here for You go Tom. to my garage, it's like wall-to-wall toilet paper, paper towels. Is it? Buy. Yeah, of course. Remember during the pandemic? You got to load up. You could not get toilet paper? No, it was all in our garage. No, no, we're not that not that obsessive. No, wait, we, I forgot one. All right. Uh, I like this guy. So do you. What are you going to get Kyler Murray for the holiday season? I want to get him a video game just for him so nobody can spy on him and tell on him that he's playing video games. <laughs> so if he could just create a Madden game that was just for him to play and he would enjoy it and nobody would know he's playing it because they had the addendum in the contract. Yeah. And of course, everybody like too many people know that he plays video games and there's nothing wrong with playing video games. But when you go and join other people's games yeah. and they rat you out yes. and the owner That's hears good. about it. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.